Vibes Radio. This is Mbunde and Kwam Books. The time right now is 9.07 a.m. And in this hour, it's On My Grind. And you know, On My Grind, we talk to you as an entrepreneur as out there, as an MVP out there. How can you improve yourself and make sure that you're going to your grind efficiently and you're also focusing on yourself in terms of self-improvement? And today we're going to talk about as an MVP, I know you're looking at yourself and you're thinking, hmm, is it about time I actually start out on something so that I can get more cash? So today we're going to talk about starting a business and what you sh- you you are supposed to expect when you start a business. Because, you know, as an MVP, there are so many challenges that you're going to face out there when you're trying out something new, something that you're not used to, something that you always overhear your friends doing and you want to jump into it. So, one thing I, w- I would love to share is your stress may go up, not down. Because, you know, as an MVP, you're trying to focus on you getting funds. You want to get so much cash so that, oh, it's the end month, then there the the kawaida delays that usually happen. But your stress definitely may go up because you have all these guys who are looking up onto you. They are looking up onto you in terms of, hey, by the way, nimehairiwa na brayo ama kwa mbox. Pesas takujalini, things are not looking so good, but you need to mainly focus on how can I improve this in this business in terms of looking for more cash. Building a business from the ground up is a lot of work because it will definitely take a lot of investment and it's in its success, it will take so much time that's yours. So you need to look at in terms you need to look at yourself in terms of doing more research seeing what your peers are doing out there and also making sure that you review your business and see what is not going on well so that you can tweak it so that it can work perfectly so always expect when you're starting a business as an mvp your stress may go up not down next point is you may definitely face more financial risk not less because as an mvp when you're trying out your business Kuna hiyo loan utachukua ndio aise kuanza hiyo busy yako. And chances are very high that it will take so much time for the business yanze kujipa because you see you're going to spend a lot of cash in terms of investing, in terms of advertising your business, in terms of hiring more hands so that they can work with you. So definitely you need to be ready for a rude awakening because according to stats not so many people are able to earn more than they have put in. So it takes so much time for your business to grow and be the baby that you want it to be. So be ready to face a lot of financial risk, not less. And there's more coming after that. Good vibes only on Vibes Radio. 22 minutes past 9 a.m. Good morning. Uh, it's uh, Morning Vibes with Kwamboks and Bunde. And shout out to you wherever you are, dub, dear MVP. Remember, there is uh, On My Grind going on right now. And Brian is giving us tips that we all need to listen to. Yes. And on this hour, we're talking about as a business person or as an entrepreneur, starting a business isn't what you think. And I know you are there thinking, hmm... Is it a challenge I should try? So here's what to expect. I've mentioned that your stress may go up, not down. So be ready for the pressures and also the intensity and the number of hours that you will be doing on that job. And you may face more financial risk and not less. Chances are very high that you'll have to invest so much cash in terms of building your baby to make sure that it's able to stand on itself and definitely so that it can run on itself. Uh, let's also add to that that there will be lifestyle changes not there will be many lifestyle changes and most of them are not what you will be you will expect as an mvp out there you'll have the the ability to connect your business from anywhere using uh, a mobile device all these computers and laptops when you're traveling but chances are very high that right now if you are sure that you're very active on social media you'll spend so much hours in um, in terms of focusing on your business focusing on the people that you've hired so chances are very high your social lifestyle will definitely disappear so many people who are dreaming for working themselves they do so because they want to improve the quality of their life 
they want to work on their terms and build a job around what they are doing. But the harsh reality is that working for yourself is not a golden ticket to freedom, money or fulfillment as an mvp out there please note when you're trying to start your business or when you start when you when you start your small small business apo kwa mta, chances are very high that ile freedom ulikuwa unadhani utakuwa nayo at sasa hizo umetoka umeamka siju 10 am unadhani utaingia job 12 am 12 pm because you're the boss trust me chances are very high you won't have that freedom to do it even in terms of the money itabidi umejifinya because in terms of the money you'll have to think about hey Nimehaya hawa say they've done jobs for 30 days so I have to look for a way to pay them. Always you want to oh by the way it's been a slow month so your pesa simkanyage hapana chances are very high that most of them will want you to fulfill the dues that you owe them. So chances are also very high that there will be so many lifestyle changes that you'll have to implement in you as as an entrepreneur out there you will likely have to get out of your comfort zone kama umezoea kuamka at a certain time chances are very high that you'll have to put in more hours if you think entrepreneurship is a chance of you to get a path to quick money definitely it is wrong because you have to make sure that you've done so much research you have to make sure that the customers that i want to target are they there are they ready do i have to market myself do i have to market my business and how much time will it take for me to reach that level if you are a procrastinator please note this is not the business for you kama wewe ni mtu wa kusema ah mazi saizi nimechoka wacha nitaendelea na hii work schedule hapana 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 kama umechoka it's good to rest but also learn to put timelines to yourself then ujiambie by the way his job in a fakwa out within this number of hours so as an mvp i need to make sure that nijeke nijikalie nijifinye and make sure that things are out on time also learn to note to prioritize this is urgent this is not important he wacha i relax kidogo naza sort baadaye also learn how to create a marketing strategy if you don't know how to create because chances are also very high you know the vision that you have for your company you know where you want to take your company to the next level kama umeshindwa na kutengeneza even a marketing strategy you can look for someone who can assist you in terms of building it also as an mvp out there learn how to have a customer persona learn how to understand your product learn and know that by the way my product is targeting this type of individual and this type of individual these are his pain points and this is how that individual is going to be able to find us either on social media either out there when we go akenda kwa supermarket this is how i've uh, this this is how i'm planning to reach my target customer also learn how to create your value proposition because the value proposition is the main reason why a customer wants to buy your product or wants to use your service what makes your product unique innovative and worth the money that they can spend as an entrepreneur make sure that you do research on that and make sure that you're able to do by the way as a customer this and this is what they are looking for i'll be back to share more on as a as an entrepreneur how can you make sure that a customer is looking for you at the right places Here's Sarah Lugo featuring Portage. I really like you. Bring us to 27 minutes past 9 a.m. Good vibes only on Vibes Radio. That's Skip Marley and of course uh, bringing us to 25 minutes to 10 a.m. And the song is called That's Not True. Now yesterday there was a, a, an article that's been making the rounds in the internet that Bessie J has been... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're going in the Guinness Book of Records as the most arrested man in the world. Well, I want to tell you that's absolutely not true. And uh, the reason why uh, it's not true is because I actually tweeted at uh, the World Records and I asked them, is this true? And they said, it's absolutely not true. We can do that. Kuna mtu kompe hapo. Yeah, and this article. So um, I saw this on breakingnews.co.ke. I'm just telling you, fake news. Mm-hmm. Kwanza, he was actually even rearrested yesterday. Mm. So I'm saying Ajela, what are He might actually even break the record, maybe eventually. Oh, but on this hour, we're talking about on my grind, and today we are focusing on as an entrepreneur, as an MVP out there. 
definitely you're thinking about starting a business but it isn't what you think and here's what you should expect i've mentioned that as an mvp your stress may go up not down you may face more financial risk and no less and there will be a couple of lifestyle changes that you're not likely to expect and you have to adjust to that level and also if you're a procrastinator and not a planner chances are very high that entrepreneurship is not meant for you also as an mvp learn that there's there's going to be a couple of incredible highs and incredible lows because entrepreneurship is like a roller coaster that does not stop there are days that you'll go home, you're like, yo, I killed it. And the days that you'll go home and you'll want to shut down that business. So be ready to expect this and learn that as an MVP, you can't go alone. If you want to start a journey, it's way better for you to look for, part, for people who can assist you through this journey. So learn how to network, learn how to get friends who you know are well versed especially your surrounding people make sure that you have business mentors near you people who can encourage you people who can advise you and help you set the path in terms of building that business also as an mvp learn that so many people out there have unsolicited advice people who are very opinionated people who just tell you things that you're sure that are just going to kill your morale kill your mood kill your zeal to build that business so Learn how to curb and block all this negative opinion, opinion that you feel is not going to build you, opinion that you feel is just meant to bring you down. down. Learn how to avoid those unsolicited, unsolicited, unsolicited advice. Also, as an MVP, learn that early success is temporary luck. When you start a new business and you achieve some early success, you need to be disciplined and always keep your ego in check and always keep your starting vision in mind. Unajua business yako inafakufika this and this number of people and you're able to achieve that let's say within a week na wewe kuna dhani utaachieve hiyo within a year. Learn that you need luck it may happen and be able and be ready to adjust your goals efficiently. Also Learn that starting up a business is very unpredictable. So as an MVP, make sure that you're ready for the best. You're ready for the worst. And you know that anything can happen in that industry, but it should never ever kill your psyche. Yeah, and that's all for today on On My Grind.